beautiful Cancerians, Kim Enchantress here to do your music reading April 2024. So as always, Cancer, we have the moon as the underlying issue. This is my artist of all kinds, any kind of musician, anything to do with music for the collective. Um, the child here is the focus of the reading. So, you know, <coughs> I feel like Maybe uh, you've been patient in the past here, Cancer. Things have been slow, could have been with your health. You've got the mountain, which could be obstacles being put before you, you know, uh, being able to break those barriers down. Now you've got a fresh new start coming. I do feel like it's to do with singing. There could be two or three people uh, in a show, in a band, uh, that you're dealing with and it could be something that's independent um, so you know you're recognizing that you're in early stages in a particular project is what I'm feeling but I do feel like you're going to excel after a fresh start so I think you're going to come to realize that you've been patient waiting for others to get their act together in their music you know, um, you've got to get the right people and it's very, very hard in, in the music business to get people that are on the wavelength that you're on. You know, you're going full steam ahead and they're making excuses one after the other. So they can hold you back and from, you know, from your dreams. So you may have to come to face some sort of gossip, what I'm feeling on social media. Um, you could come across this in the evening. I do feel like you're dreaming big though, Cancer, and you're trying to stand out so you can influence a particular organisation. It could be a company, it could be a hotel, it could be an agent, it could be a manager. but someone that's high up on the chain. That's what I'm feeling. Now, I feel there has been long-term health problems. I really do feel that for you. Cancer and, you know, could have been some blockages um, in the body. But now you're healing. You're healing these obstacles. You're now living a new life. You've got a new lease of life. And you're waiting to come face to face with others rather than being on the telephone with people or, you know, some sort of video chat. So you're, you're hanging to talk to people or face people you want to get out there and start rehearsing start playing performing you're remembering a piece of legislation here cancer is what i'm feeling now this has been a delay of a debut for you so maybe you've uh you know been toying with this project for a long time it could have been at least 13 months for some and you want to put it out there. You want to showcase it in some way. But you're limiting or you're limited to your singing. I think um, an older couple have caused problems and left you feeling alienated and alone. But this is the beginning of new communication and something that's going to start and be seen on social media. Now, you're definitely beginning... Um, or you've got this new ambition with a small organisation. Now we've got uh, on the first, the last quarter moon in Capricorn. And, you know, this is where you can focus on clearing out any thing that doesn't serve you or clean up your home to make room for your goals or clear your path over the next week in April. And you can do this responsibly and in a disciplined way. If you've been going through health matters, that is. Now, on the 8th, you've got Aries Solar Eclipse. So that's the second one uh, in uh, 2024. So the Aries Solar Eclipse brings high energy, drive, enthusiasm, excitement for this new beginning that you're starting. And you've also got Mercury. Uh, also going retrograde in Aries at the same time. So this may be you focusing on having a second chance 
as opposed to something brand new. So think about what you've you like to do as another shot or what you'd like to have another shot at. On the 15th, we have the first quarter moon in Cancer in your sign. So this is where you can make adjustments emotionally over the next week. And, you know, you may want to do some small tweaking with what you've already got planned, you know, the, the um, your life plan for your music. This is um, what you've already come up with, songs perhaps, how you want to perform it. Do you want to have stage props, that type of thing? You may want to make some small tweaks there. Now, the outcome is the Leo energy, the sun, and we've got the woman. So we've got, at the moment, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo energies. So I feel like you're going to have this incredible success, Cancer, and you're going to obtain the results that you're hoping for, okay? Okay. This is going to be with a well-known woman who's very intuitive, very accomplished, and she's going to enlighten you in some way. So whether they're involved in what you're doing or they're there for your support. I feel the essence of um, this reading has come down to a number I've calculated for Lon Norman, and it's 162. So in career context, it centers on progress through balance and harmony and it's encouraging you to amalgamate your skills with others so you can generate a joint force in the professional realm okay at this um, numbers entering your life it's also about you witnessing an increase in support and guidance from your colleagues or people who are mentoring you and they're going to be instrumental in helping you navigate this um, complex landscape of your career journey, okay? You will get through all this. You just can't see what's on the other side. So, um, you know, you're going to incorporate this number um, in everyday work life and you're going to find all your confidence with the sun, you know, just to take on new roles or projects. This is going to be some sort of newfound energy here, Ca uh, Cancer, and it's going to serve as a catalyst for a professional transformation and it's going to inspire you towards uncharted territories in your career, something different that you've never seen, uh, never done before. So sending you love, success and happy new beginnings. Lots of love. Bye for now.